Rivali's Gale is now ready. And that is why I saw Rivali first. I'm getting Korok seeds right now. I've been all over Hebra. And if not for the upgraded Rivali, Rivali's Wind buff, I would not... I would not be almost done. I would I would be about halfway through. It, it's just so useful. <gasps> oh my word! Oh my! The what? Oh man! This is the same area. I'm looking for Korok seeds, by the way. This is the same exact area. I'm not messing around with you. This is the same area that I encountered the T-posing Lizalfos right down there. And you know what? He's back. He is... He's in a different location. But apparently this area is prone to getting load errors with Lizalfos. That is cool. <laughs> Uh, buddy, you don't look so good. Huh. Well, I don't know what to do th with this guy. I think I'm gonna let him live. I think I'm gonna let him live. He's, he obviously has concerns of his own. That I, I don't want to be on his, his gigantic list of, of problems. Because he, he clearly has his own issues that he's trying to resolve in life. Um, maybe he's stretching. What happens if I stasis him? This is a good question. I can stasis him. Now, when he gets out of stasis, will he load properly? No, he won't. This is... I, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. This is very odd. I assume... I don't think I have a weapon weak enough to not kill him. I really don't want to leave him, because this is so special. Not only did we get to see a T-posing Lizalfos... In this area, but we got to see him again. Huh. You guys should... I mean, I, I know that a couple of you went to this area to see if you could find him for yourself, but do it again. Do it again and see if maybe there's another T-poser. It's pretty sweet. Okay, I'm gonna leave you now. I hope we meet again. I, I really do. Th this was... This was special. We, we can't... I mean, we can't stop meeting like this because people will talk, but... I, I'm glad we got to meet. I can try and hit him. <gasps> oh yeah! I, f I helped you! I helped you! Oh, I I'm so happy! He just had a cramp. That's what it was. You seized up. I've I've been there. I I've been there, man. Oh, I'm so he's dancing. Do you see him dancing? He's he's singing right now. Oh, he's so happy. I'm I'm glad. Sometimes you just seize up after a nice workout, and people just kind of leave you alone. And it, it's sad, because then you can't get out of your your thing. Uh, I'm really happy for this guy. Ah. This one's well hidden. Timestamp, first of all. But, look at this. It's all the way back at the headwaters of this hot spring. Oh, and I get to... Cool, I get to be healed as well. Yeah, this was well hidden. I'm up to, like, 550. I have not been up here. Uh, I am... As I said before... I'm not sure what order I'm going to be putting these in. But, as I said before, I am... Doing a bit of exploration, uh, just to get Korok seeds, trying to clear out the Heber region since we just did the Tabantha, uh, trial for DLC Pack 2. And this mountain has a few Korok seeds on it, as you can see I've marked. But if you go to Heroes Pack Path Mode, I've never touched this mountain. I've never set foot on this mountain before. So, I guess, uh, while I'm getting Korok seeds, I can cut those out, but I can ex also explore it. This mountain almost seems as though it would harbor a memory. You know, it, it has guardians on the way up. It just feels like there's a history to it, but it's not needed for anything. There's no shrine, there's no memory, there are enemies, and it has its own unique locale. Just none of these things. I almost blew that up. Ow. Run, aggro. It's over. 
Silver Trunks? What? Now I know from the guide that I'm using for Korok Seeds here, and yes, I'm, I'm at that point where I'm using guide because otherwise I'm just going blind, that there is no Korok Seed on top of the mountain, although I guess this kind of counts. This is a Korok Seeded, and it's located on the side of the mountain, but you have to start it on the top. I have to surf to keep up with this one. Timestamp, pal, by the way. Yeah, I say timestamp because in editing, I, I go through and I look for what the waveform looks like. Man, this was this was easy. It was cool, but it was an easy one. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, unless I need to get all three in, because that would be problematic. Yeah, it's just weird that this mountain isn't used for anything. Besides just a couple of Korok seeds. There, there's no shrine, there's no memory, there's no trial. There, there's nothing. There's no boss, as far as I can tell. I mean, that, that is up to up for debate because I haven't fully explored. I haven't been on the tippy top peak of the mountain, but there doesn't appear to be a boss, just a, an outpost. Yeah, it's just an outpost. Yeah, that's odd. This is this is a weird one, guys. I'm not entirely sure what to think of this. <laughs> This one's clever. It's in the Forgotten Temple, behind the goddess statue. That's... that's really well done. Good on ya. Good on you, Nintendo. The last thing I would be expecting here is a Korok Seed. What just happened? Frame by frame that, pal. What was that? Five hundred and eighty-three Korok seeds. The Heba region cleared. Tabantha cleared. The Great Plateau cleared. I'm done. I'm done with all this. I think. Seventy-two point eight six percent completion. The Moldugo was standing right in front of me. Oh, th th thank you so much. Oh, yes. Let me give you this. Medal of Honor, Mulduga. A medal presented by Kilton in the somber honor of having defeated every Mulduga. Slaying a monster is a very he heavy burden to bear. You must steal yourself to carry this weight. This is proof that you've defeated every last Mulduga in Hyrule. As long as you have this, I'll always be with you.
Thank you. 